This segment of Delmarva Life is sponsored by For All Seasons Behavioral Health and Rape Crisis Center. Those of us experiencing the struggles of feeling unwell emotionally or mentally wrestle with so much, especially whether we should seek help or not. Now, we've spoken before about the stigma regarding mental health, and unfortunately, many fear the prejudice that may come with entering treatment. The benefits far outweigh the burden of living with trauma, anxiety, or discomfort. So it's important that we help make a case for mental health therapy and assisting in in us making this case today is Beth Ann Dorman. She is the CEO for All Seasons Behavioral Health and Rape Crisis Center. It's always good to see you. Good to Beth see you Ann. too. Why do you think people fail to get help for mental health issues? Well, I think it's tough to be vulnerable and to say that you need help. It might be that you were raised in a family where mental health issues weren't talked about or you just kept it inside. It may be that there's a philosophy that you can um, find the solace that you need in a faith community and that that's as far as it needs to go. Um, for some communities, it might be the downtown barbershop or the hairdresser. So it, it, there's a lot of barriers and, and it, it also talks about, you know, sort of the way that our generations look at mental health services. Mm -hmm. So I know my grandmother's generation didn't look at it as freely as my children's generation does so and there's lots of different reasons why people won't seek help but I think ultimately it's about having to put yourself out there and say I need help mm -hmm. so what are some of the myths versus reality when it comes to mental health therapy sure you know one of the things that we um, we talk about is it's not like back in the movies where you would see like the person laying on the couch and saying let's let's start from where it all began you know mm -hmm. really it's about walking in and having a conversation no different than you and I are having right now it is just that there's a qualified person sitting on the other side of the room from you and being able to what I call dump your stuff. We all have stuff. We mm -hmm. all have mental health symptoms. You don't need a diagnosis to be able to say, hey, I might just need some help figuring this out. You know, you might go to friends for something, but your friend might say, I'm not really sure I can help you with this piece of it. And so it's about being able to back up from where you are and figure out is there another path that might help me get over this hump? And sometimes it's six sessions. Sometimes it's 36 sessions. Sometimes people are in therapy for six years. And sometimes there's medication needs. So if we're finding that like our children are not responding to school well or they're having a difficult time, there's ways that we can say, hey, I might need to get out of my own way as a parent thinking I can solve this and just simply say, could we look at this option? Yeah, so let's talk about the benefits mm -hmm. of this therapy. Yeah, so you know, for our children, especially to be able to have a conversation around if you're not doing okay, you know, it's not that there's something wrong with you. It's that we need to be able to work through this to get you to live your very best life. Our psychiatrist, Dr. Serrato, who is our chief medical officer says, no child should struggle for more than one morning a week. And so if you're having that ongoing struggle, try to peel back the layers and figure out what that struggle may be about. For us as adults, you know, we may be doing just fine and going along and thinking we've got it all together, spinning those plates, multiple plates at a time. And there might be one more thing that gets added in where we say, I was good, but now I'm not. Mm -hmm. There might be grief that someone is dealing with, with the death of a loved one. Maybe it's aging parents. Maybe it's transition from divorce families. There are so many reasons why we may see that the mental health piece becomes a benefit because it's someone else being able to sit with you, help you strategize, put tools into your toolbox. You know, it is never a lack of will. It's usually a lack of skill that holds us back. So mental health services provide you those skills so that you can be living your best life. And of course, no judgment. No judgment at all, because mm -hmm. we all, I mean, at least we all have our stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, every single one of us. And when I sit in rooms and do presentations, I say, not all of you may have walked in the door with a mental health diagnosis, but you all walked in knowing what symptoms feel like. And so sometimes it's just responding to where you are. And like I said, it could be short term, long term. But we also need to know that if we're not having this conversation with our kids, they're gonna hear about it on the internet. They're gonna hear about it from their friends. They may hear a family's opinion, you know, a family member's opinion that you don't want them to hear about it. So really being able to say like, hey, let's just sit down and talk about it is your best approach. So how can
can we get the most out of mental health therapy? Yeah, so it's, you know, number one, I always say that finding a good therapist is like finding a good pair of shoes. Sometimes it's gonna fit the first time, sometimes you might need to switch. You know, we have a program where there's open access, it's walk-in services, no wait list at our clinic. You can do it in person or telehealth. And so being able to just connect with an agency and say, how does the process work? being able to determine can you get there in person, do you need telehealth services, and sitting down and just saying, I'm here. You could even say, I have no idea where to start, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. it, it, you don't have to have like a formulated plan going into your first session. Um, when I was in graduate school, we had to do therapy for six months, and I thought I was fine, and I, was, I don't need this. Well, inevitably, you realize that there are things that come up that you could talk through, and like I said, the time frame, you know, the goal of therapy is to get us out of therapy. So you're consistently working on your goals, you're consistently working on a treatment plan, and you're a part of the journey alongside with your therapist. Hmm. Such good information. Beth Ann Dorman with For All Seasons. Always good to see you. You too. Thanks. Thank you.